I think the key is understanding that mathematics is a language through which you can represent and solve problems. Typically our kids begin with geometry, then they take a second year of algebra, so they're enabled to combine their algebraic skills with what they learned in geometry, and then they take a sort of pre-calculus class that really encourages them to synthesize some of the things they've known, explore more abstract concepts like functions, and then their senior year is often an elective course. We're all about extra help. I mean, that's one thing that we, we strongly encourage. Doors are open for you know, any of the colleagues uh, up and down the hallway. You know, if you're having trouble in my classroom and, and our schedules don't match up or you can come see me, go next door. I think for most of us, we understand that people don't learn by watching somebody else do it. They learn by doing it. And if you walk into any of the mathematics classrooms, you'll notice that most of the wall space are covered with boards. And that's because it's not us standing in front of the class conducting. It's us guiding our students. So it's the students who are at the board working problems. We do our homework and we put them up on the board and we all we discuss each individual one. We talk about different ways of solving it. It's competitive, but it's not hostile. We all work together. Each person presents a different approach to the solution. Um, it's really beneficial. I learn a lot. You don't study math by reading through your notes. You don't study it by just looking over an old quiz. You want to redo questions and do other questions similar to that. We really encourage, you know, just come in and just get more practice. Well, the teachers at Nichols really encourage you to, like, rise up to the occasion. If you're solving a really difficult problem, they'll encourage you to keep working at it and not give up. And that has sort of inspired me to be resilient in math class and outside of math class.